For the 51st time in his impressive open wheel career, Will Power had the best seat in the house to start a race, leading the 24 car field to the green flag of the IndyCar Grand Prix. Power got away cleanly, grabbing the lead. Sebastian Bourdais made a pass to take second from Robert Wickens, but the real action took place around seven. The Simon Pagano and Jordan King were sent spinning into the turn two gravel, bringing out a full course yellow. Man, you hit me first. I think I'm gonna fight. On that same opening lap, Spencer Piggott would jump the turn six curbing, Dukes of Hazard style, and was penalized for avoidable contact when he returned back to earth and into the side pot of Takuma Sato. On the restart, Power maintained his advantage, but Robert Wickens became the aggressor with a pass on Sebastian Bourdais to retake second. One of the biggest movers early in the day was Zachary Clayman de Mello filling in for injured teammate Pietro Fittipaldi. Clayman de Mello charged from 19th to the top 10 early in the IndyCar Grand Prix and eventually settled for a solid 12th place finish. Tire strategy played an important role in the race as the softer compound alternate red Firestones would be the choice to have and after the first round of pit stops, Wickens used them to run down power and take the lead in turn seven. Not to be outdone, once power got his chance on the reds, he'd return the favor, slipping by Wickens in turn one as the Aussie and Canadian put on a ferocious battle for the lead. After running in the top five for most of the event, IndyCar champ Joseph Newgarden was feeling aggressive on the south end of the speedway, but that aggression spilled over trying to pass Sebastian Bourdais for third. Newgarden would bring out a full course yellow and ended up finishing 11th. They run it? No, I'd run it if I ran it. That caution brought the entire field to pit lane for the final time for pit stops that were razor close to being good enough to make it the rest of the way on fuel. Power narrowly led Wickens off of pit road. Nice try, guys. We almost had him. While a surging Scott Dixon moved to third with great pit work. When the race restarted, Power continued his domination, but all eyes were on the ice man as he tracked down Wickens and move into second. Good job. We point towards the number. It looked as if Dixon's charge from 18th to a race win was within reach, but Power's car had enough fuel in the tank to push hard and horsepower in the engine to hold off Dixon. Will Power scores his 33rd career Verizon IndyCar Series win and third in the IndyCar Grand Prix at IMS. Woo! Good job, boys. Oh, my God. Good man, Power. The victory is also the 200th Verizon IndyCar Series win for car owner Roger Penske. Watch the 102nd running of the Indianapolis 500, Sunday, May 27th at 11 a.m. on ABC. Yeah.